Hello everybody, I'm the Missing Sock. Welcome back for more Grand Theft Auto Online. Yeah, so today we are going to be getting ourselves the Duke of Death. And here's our Dukes here. Yeah, so the uh, uh, Rockstar Games just gave us uh, all the returning player uh, content for everybody. So now you can get it either for free if you're a returning player, or for cash if you're not. So that's kind of cool. So now everybody can have things like the Zazam Dukes here, and um, things like the Duke of Death that we're going to order right now. All right, so let's do that. Okay, so let's see. So we order that through the Warstock Cash and Carry for the uh, Duke of Death. You can also find that through Travel and Transport, of course. So the Warstock Cash and Carry .com. And let's just scroll on down to it. And there's the Duke of Death right there. So it's free for me as a returning player, as one of the returning player awards. It's normally uh, $665,000. Which isn't too bad of a price, really, for an armored car, actually. All right, for a pretty much bulletproof car. So let's see, Duke of Death. It's not always clear whether your average uranium-eating survivalist is planning for the world to end, or planning to end it personally. And why not keep those options open with the special edition Duke's muzzle car? Sure, it has the fuel consumption of an aircraft carrier and a headwind, but when the nukes start falling, you and the cockroaches are going to have a blast. <laughs> That's an awesome description. All right, buy it now. Yeah, looks great. And we're going to send it right here. Perfect. All right, guys, I'll bring you right back for that. Any minute now? Right there. A la Duco Death. No. No. Oh, there he is. Yay. <laughs> All right. All right, there she is. Your new Duke of, Death, Duke of Death has now confirmed as having been delivered. So I guess you get no color options, just plain black. I'm tempted to keep it just plain black, although I might try a silver or gray on it or anthracite or something. But it does look so nice and mean and black. Mm -hmm. Great looking, great looking uh, survivalist car. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So very uh, Duke Space design, but otherwise quite a lot of changes to it. Very meaty looking. It's got a license plate, so that's good to know. Wasn't sure if it'd actually even be street legal. <laughs> All right, let's dig right. Roll cage included. Oh, she's got a little bit of purr. Yep. And no back seat. All covered off. So that means nobody can shoot you through in the back, which is nice to know. And almost a regular Duke's interior otherwise, aside from the roll cage and bulletproof uh, slats. Yeah. Idiot! Jeez, you got a problem, asshole? <laughs> you gonna bug somebody in an armored car? Oh, I can't get a beat on you. <laughs> Shouldn't mess with the Duke of Death. It's hungry. <laughs> yeah. So there she is. Let's back her up. The traffic's going crazy. So you can see it's even got the uh, the the light covers just like the regular Dukes does. So that's pretty cool. Nice little out of detail. One of the few car cars in the game that actually has light covers like that or moving lights like that of some sort. I think there's only a handful of them that actually have some kind of feature like that. All right. So she's styling. And I do believe that the only way to actually shoot you with a bullet is through those little holes, like through that front there, and through the tiny little slats. Otherwise, it should be all uh, bulletproof. All right, let's see if I can sneak in my garage. Nope, no, nope, they're not gonna let me. <laughs> all right. Well, I think we might test this out on another round. Try it out on uh, maybe some headhunter on the ground. I haven't done that in a little while. Let's see how it does. But as a stock uh, Dukes, it's pretty nice. Furs along. Decent handling. I can feel the weight on it. Let's hit this car right here. Oh yeah, yeah. See, it's got lots of weight behind it. It's not you're just a regular car. It's uh, it's an armored car. So some of the armored cars have different weight levels. You know, some of them don't have much of it, but some of them definitely do. Yeah. So you can just take cars right out of your way like that, and plow them, and go right through. Yeah. Very little damage to the car itself or the bull bars. Busy, Buster. Busy. See? And our lights are still intact. 
and protect it. <laughs> All right, let's take her into our mod shop. Purrs along, purr. Yeah, she definitely looks like a mean visitor. Hey, you wouldn't want to see that on the end of your street. What's going on? <laughs> Alright, so I brought her up to the second floor so we could see her right beside my other dukes. So you can see some of the changes in there. So it already comes with the uh, the uh, front, um, uh, what would be, air ram? Yeah, bug cudger. Already on the hood. And a roll cage and a bunch of other things that are already included. We'll have to see in the auto shop, but I think it already comes default with uh, bulletproof tires too. But we'll double check that. And uh, should already have armor, obviously. Although I we'll find out if we can increase it or not. Yeah, but that's the regular Dukes, and that is our new one. No spoiler at the back of the moment. All right, that light bar's at the top. Let's take it into our auto, auto, auto shop, our mod shop. What were you looking for? Everything for my new little now what do you need? beast, my new little bulldog. <laughs> oh yeah, you can increase the armor even more, so that's good. So $30,000 for an armor increase. All right, brakes. It's only $7,000 for race brakes. So a lot of this is probably a Duke Space uh, pricing. So that's pretty cool, nice and cheap. Engine, only 6,700 for level four. Do you need a drink? Bubbles or something? Yep. Lights, we're gonna give it the neon, the xenon lights. I think I'll leave the neon kits off for now. For this one, we'll lower the suspension. Oh, it can go all the way down to the com competition suspension. So that's good to know. Nice. I like that. Competition suspension, 4,400. Transmission for 8,000. Race transmission. I hope you know how to use this thing. Nice. <laughs> it's got a little sputter in there, too. Turbo for 30,000. Okay. That should help us yeah. All right. And wheels. It's got a nice uh, stock wheel, though. But unfortunately, you can't change the stock wheels for much, so... I think we're going to give this one some muscle, some stock. There's the Duke's itself, the Duke's um, rims. But I think I might give this a revolver. Dodman's actually not too bad in full black, as you can tell. But where's our, and Spooner's not bad, actually, too, on this car and car. It's a little more chrome than I was looking for, but it's got that meaner look, the revolvers. Drag SPL, huh. Mecca. That's a nice mean look on there too. Yeah. Well, might be not be your guys' style, but I think it might be mine. It looks a little bit more protected to me. So I'm going to go with the Spooners. That's what I think. But I do like a lot of the styles. But we're going for the mean look. I like that way that Spooner kind of gives it the armored look a little bit. And our wheel color, yeah, we're going to leave that in black. wonder why you have to color it anyway, huh? Whatever you desire. Because it's already Technology black. And budget Strange. Well, I'll color it black anyway. Tire design, give it some custom tires. Sure, yeah, we'll do that. And, yep, yeah, so bulletproof tires already comes included. It's good to know. Saves a little bit of money, I suppose, too. Seems black tire smoke, why not? All right, so... I think that's all the main stuff, so no real modifications, but mind you, the car itself is uh, uh, a modified Dukes, I guess you could say. It's got the, uh, the front roll bar here. The Dukes itself has got the covered lights, so both versions have that. It's got the um, the hood with the, uh, I forget what these are called, the little clasps on them. I think that's a race option. Plus, you've already got the uh, bug catcher attached as well. You've got armored uh, plates, armored windows all the way around, which as far as I know, you cannot be shot through except for through that little tiny slat if somebody gets just that right shot, or through here. So you generally want to keep everybody at your sides or at your back when the police are there, and they shouldn't be able to get you too much until the vehicle's worn down. All right. Now there's our exhaust. So no real exhaust options I noticed there, too. The, uh, the regular Duke still give you some, but it already comes included with the side exhausts, uh, which I think is an upgraded Duke's option. And no spoiler, but it does have this whole uh, roll cage and inside and outside roll cage. So it's got one on the inside and the little light bar here and everything. I do notice it's got the color and no secondary color. Well, maybe it does. Yeah, never mind. 
We just haven't gone into respin yet. I'm just a fool. <laughs> but let's go in there now. So we've got crew emblem and primary and secondary. So secondary would probably be all your bars and everything. So let's just click on Chrome for a quick second just to see. Yeah, none of the bars, just the lower parts. All right. And I did want to keep that a matte black, I think. But yeah, it looks great in black. It's very tempting to just keep it just like that. But let's have a quick look. Life is hard when you can have anything. Some of the grays aren't too bad either. Just for something a slight different. And it offsets the uh, matte black that would be at our front. So let me change to white there so you can see all the black secondary that's on there still. Which kind of gives it some mean offsetting looks. Maybe we should go through some of these colors for you guys. So, you can have a look at some of the variety. Orange, I'm sure, is popular. <laughs> but I think it looks great in black. But I do like some of the uh, the um, anthracite kind of looks. You know, they're silvery, dark. But it's going to have a dark look to it. Don't think I want it to be a shiny car, though. I think it just looks better in a matte finish. That's just me, I think. Yeah, like tan, very military. Making looks like CIA. <laughs> you know? I don't know. Yeah, Black Ops kind of vehicle. <laughs> so yeah, I think I might go with that gray. You know, I guess it's just a little bit different from the regular black, but it still has that dark same look, almost identical, but it still looks mean and unfinished, and it offsets that, that secondary blacks, so you can still see that. So I like that. Bubbles, yeah, and I do notice, as I was saying, though, you can't change the color on your roll cage. That's too bad. Too bad they didn't make that part of the secondary. Oh, well. All right, I think that's all the options. Okay. Yeah, we'll circle. Look around. There she is. Yeah, very flat and mean and plain, but I, I kind of wanted that. It's the mean military look. This is going to be one of our new military, one of our new uh, business vehicles. <laughs> Get stuff done. Oh yeah, the plate. Wait, did I miss that? What do you I don't know I see all the options. No. no, I didn't miss it. See, there's no plate option. Hmm. Well, we've ran into this before, various options, but usually the option is there itself. So, see the plate? License plate? And no option to change it. <laughs> Hopefully Rockstar will fix that. But I've come across things like this in the past. I bet you there's a way around. And uh, what I'm probably going to do after we finish up here, guys, is I'll, I'll go into my iFruit app, which you can do on Windows 10. You know, it's an app. So you can run it on any Windows that will run apps, which I think is Windows 8 and Windows 10. Um, and, uh, of course, on phones, Androids, and all that, iPhones, and all that stuff, too, as well. Um, it does seem to me that it helps do it while you're in the game. It seems to not be kind of laggy and not very reliable when you're not in the game. But when you're in the game, like I am right now, and I go into that app separately, you might have to drop in or do it on a different device. Um, but uh, it tends to bring up the uh, require the request right away. And in, in the iFruit app, you can order the uh, custom license plates. So it'll pop up telling me to go to LLS Customs to fulfill my order. And then I drive in there, as we've done in some previous episodes, and I get my plate fixed. And it'll just give me a custom order, and then it'll be just done. I'm hoping that'll work, because otherwise we don't have an option for the plate at all <laughs> until Rockstar fixes it. <laughs> all right. I'm always here. Always something, I suppose, right? And hopefully that's not on every version. So I'm on the PC right now, so maybe that's uh, just a PC version. I don't know. Oh yeah, nice. Well, usually I drive around in the day to show you guys, this, but maybe this is a night vehicle. <laughs> anyway. She bears really nice. She's got a little sputter in the back. All right. Yeah, no actual windows otherwise. So no need to uh, tint the windows or set out a limo as well. It's got no actual windows. Just a back cover. And uh, the slats. Yeah. Nice ride is though. Thanks, man. <laughs> oh, hey. This is gang area. Oh, I was just gonna finish it, guys, but uh, if you want, I think I'll just roll over here for a moment and see if we can annoy the gang members on the pier. <laughs> oh, hey, LTT, I'm busy, I'm busy, busy, busy. So let's see. 
Yeah, we'll switch to my AP pistol. By now it should have already set off the game fight. Usually just being in these little red circles that are on my map is enough to set them off. I've already completed this one in the past, but I think they still show up to fight you anyway. Maybe they're afraid to fight me and my dukes. Yep. Well, who wouldn't be, right? <laughs> Alright. Yeah. Well, that's the Duke of Death, everybody. And I think in the coming episodes, I'm um, not sure, maybe the next one, I might uh, take this around and we'll test out the uh, the bulletproof of it and uh, the damage resistance of it. Alright, so I just wanted to check out the options. Not too, too many options of it, on it, but uh, at the same time, it is, uh, to me, it is already a upgraded, optioned out uh, Dukes in the first place. So if you look at it that way, it's it's got lots going for it, you know. And now we've got both, so that's pretty cool. Yeah. All right, everybody. I'm the Missing Sock. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you're new, please subscribe. You know, it's uh, free and it helps us out. And uh, all new subscribers, thanks for coming along. And it's great to have you here. And uh, thanks for watching, everybody. <laughs> we'll see you all soon for the next one. Take care, everybody. Yeah, I wonder what's with that gang. They just don't want to come out when you got a Dukes, I guess. <laughs> uh. She slides. Real well. Make sure that's set. Customization, Ponte Duca Death. Order. Plate, 600 bucks. Accept. It's already an order pending. Do I know right this order? Yes. Order was sent successfully. Okay, let's go back into the game. Drop by Las Santos Customs to have your Duke of Death order fulfilled. Yay! Let's go in. What brings you in today? Fix my plate. That's what brings me in today. Press a zap order. So there you go. So no plate category, but here we've got it fixed by doing this. Alright. The order has been processed. The vehicle has been updated for 600 bucks. And there's no leave. There's no extra options. Just kicks you right out. <laughs> and it's so funny when this happens. Such a weird way of doing it for Rockstar. Alright, and there she is. Whoop. Missing Zark. Yay. And black on yellow, which is the way I prefer it too. It just goes with the rest of the vehicle and most of my dark vehicles. So now we've got a plate fixed, and that's how to do it through the iFruit app. It's a bit of a glitchy app, but uh, in the end, you guys will get through. Okay, you got to click through your cars to get the right one to show up. If the right one doesn't show up, which it should, um, just keep driving the right one, maybe log in and out a couple times, and it should have the right one show up. And as I said before, it does help to do it while you're in the game. Okay, and then it tends to show up right away. I found whenever I don't do it in the game, it doesn't work very reliably at all. But when I do it in the game, it almost pops up uh, right away almost all the time. All right, take care, everybody. See you next time. Come through. Wow, just a plow of death. <laughs> Bull bars. I don't need to stop for nothing. <laughs> uh, that'll be a very useful vehicle.